Hello, this is Chris from Scientific Audiophile, and today we're going to talk about vinyl cleaning and how so many people on YouTube are ruining your records. First, we have Deaf Man Vinyl here who suggests you use cleaning fluid sparingly. You don't want to leave any residue on the record. It gets down in the grooves and gunks things up. Your stylist will pick all that stuff up. Yet, on his website, he recommends using this five or six drops at a time to clean it up. Why does he recommend not using it often? Probably because what he's selling is garbage. It doesn't tell you what's in it. It doesn't tell you if it's water, if it's distilled water, what kind of surficant is being used. It is literally something that you're going down a rabbit hole and no wonder he probably tells you things are gunking things up because what he's selling probably is gunking things up. So do not listen to Deaf Man Vinyl. Okay, this one from Aomiba with over 400,000 views is a real head scratcher. Listen to this. So I've seen some videos online using wood glue, wet vacuums, all kinds of stuff. Do I really need all that? Well, there's lots of techniques out there, but for most intents and purposes, all you really need is a bottle of over-the-counter cleaning solution and a microfiber cleaning. Wow, did that guy just say using wood glue and you didn't correct him that maybe that would work? Holy cow. And then over-the-counter? Oh, this is the whole point. We don't know what's in the junk they're putting in over-the-counter cleaning fluid. Do not listen to these guys from Amoeba. If you're lucky enough to be dealing with mold, the cleaning of the record must start with a clean and rinse with warm soapy water. Did he just say warm soapy water? Near mint and its accompanying microfiber cloth. Simply spray the cleaner a handful of times around the record surface, wiping clean and dry in a gentle circular motion. Look at his bottom hand. That is touching the record, putting grease and fingerprints all over it. These people are ruining your records. Secondly, let's take a look at the vinyl cleaner he's using. So I went to the website here and it tells you nothing. They don't tell you the ingredients. This next one is completely shocking with over half a million views. Hopefully zero people actually follow this advice. Let's watch. Water, you really don't want this uh, anything more than lukewarm. So this guy's using tap water kind of a brush I use an old uh, this is an old kind of record cleaning brush and then he's using an old dirty brush a bit of washing up liquid just a few drops and dishwasher soap is this real unbelievable if this is a some kind of sarcastic video or something they're putting out because he's ruining your records and then he finishes it off with the full dunk of the record under the water and just splash all that stuff around and just move it around. Wow. So we have this guy who's got over half a million views and 218,000 subscribers recommending another product that doesn't tell you what's inside of it. Let's explain why that's important. So to clean your records, you need three things. One, distilled water, not tap water. Second, you need 99% or better pure alcohol. Now, sorry guys, wine, it isn't going to cut it here, but don't just go out and buy isopropyl alcohol. Make sure it's 99% or better, okay? It costs more. That's why they don't put these ingredients on their list. And you don't need just any wedding agent. Technically, dishwasher soap, with tons of the other ingredients they stick in there, perfumes, you name it, is a wedding agent. You need something like this, something that a photographer uses, okay? This gets that alcohol and that water into the grooves, and then you just clean it up with clean microfiber cleaning cloths. Not used ones, not old ones, not ones you find around the garage, not ones that you think are clean. Make sure they're clean, new is best, and if they're not new, make sure the only thing they've been used on is your records. Let me go through a list of products that do not tell you clearly what's on their list of ingredients. Audio-Technica, just plain water from the tap and maybe 75% isopropyl alcohol, not good. Stay away from this garbage. Big Fudge, in response to a user question on Amazon, basically told them they're just putting plain water in here. 
this is another huge mistake. You need to use distilled water. This one made me laugh because A, they only put in plain water. They won't tell you if it's distilled or not. It's not because they would tell you if it was. And then they tell you it's alcohol free. And then they use propylene glycol, which technically is an alcohol. Laser Media's contents are literally eight fluid ounces. Opula with zero information about what's in the bottle. Phoenix is another one that tells you nothing about what's inside, and with the size of that jug, I wouldn't trust it at all. Record Happy tells you nothing about what's inside, and a smart reviewer, Tech Freak on Amazon, tells you basically, if it doesn't tell you what's in it, don't trust it. Good job, Tech Freak. Leave the chemistry for professionals and tell you nothing about what's inside of it. Pretty sad. You bought a spin cleaner, and all of a sudden the fluid doesn't tell you what's inside. Ulu, another one that tells you Zippo about what's inside this bottle. That brings us to our last one. So there's a caveat with Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab. Do not buy the one cleaning solution because this does not tell you specifically where their water is coming from. Is it distilled or not? It doesn't say. Now for the caveat. We do recommend Mofi Super Record Wash. Why? Well, even though it's alcohol free, that's not a terrible thing. You can use it on 78s. It tells you very clearly here that they are using quadruple distilled water. Take a look at that quadruple distilled water. This is the only product that Scientific Audiophile will recommend unless you make your own. That's it for today. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.